Then uh, the Jews began to argue among themselves. They said, how can this man give us his body to eat? Jesus said, I tell you the truth. You must eat the body of the Son of Man and you must drink his blood. If you don't do this, then uh, you don't have a really life in you. The person that eats my body and drinks my blood has eternal life. I will raise up that person on the last day. My body is true food. My blood is true drink. If a person eats my body and drinks my blood, then that person lives in me and I live in uh, that uh, person. Amen. As you heard about Dilaka said about drinking his blood and eating his body. Here, many uh, rafers is blood. They always drink juice. Let me drink also this juice. Let me eat also as the the always refer his body uh, to the bread. Let me eat the bread. Friend out there, you saw me uh, eating the bread and uh, drinking the juice. Until now, I'm yet not understand if this juice and this piece of bread can connect me uh, to Jesus. This is a question. Is this thing can connect us to Jesus Christ. As he said, if you drink my blood and if you eat my body, you are connected. I am in you and you are in me. Now, this is what I drink. I drank this and I ate. But this cannot connect me. Never and ever this to connect me to Jesus. It's like a foolishness when you see me drinking in, in my mind, meditating the connection between the someone in the heaven. So impossible. And very, very impossible. This is a drink from a fair tree. This is a bread from a fair tree. But the him was from the heaven. And it's not around again. It's in the heaven. Then you run it again to read for something. To symbolize someone who is in the heavens. Who's working with us 24 hours? By drinking and eating this cannot mean the presence of God in me or my presence in the Lord of the glory, Jesus Christ. This is a normal thing. Which, after drinking, I'm going to the toilet. Then I pee the drink out. Then I make caca. This is out also. Then after that, am I gonna claim that uh, I, dr I drank the I drank the I drank the, the blood 
and I ate the body, am I going to claim so? This is foolishness if I say to people. Because I am connected without even drinking this. I am connected. And my connection is not because of this bread and wine, this, this bread and wine, or bread and a juice. Let's tell the truth to others. Let's share the truth. We mustn't be blind and blind, but we'll say. When the, the group is leading, the group is leading by a blind and all fall in a pit. That is it. The truth is that. This is a blindness when you see a person eating and drinking this. I call a blind. Doesn't see. Close, come here. I want, to, I want to clean your eyes. I want to take out the veil on your face so that you can see this is this is not what to drink. This is not what to eat. This is not even the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. This is a normal drink and a normal bread. Let me read for you from the book of John. You will understand exactly what Jesus Christ means. Jesus answered, you are looking for me. Are you looking for me because you saw me do a miracle that proved my power? No, I tell you the truth. You are looking for me because you ate the breads and you were satisfied. Earthly food spoils and ruins. So don't work to get that kinds of food, but work to get the food that stays good always and gives you life forever. The son of a man will give you that food. God the Father showed that he, he is with the son of a man. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ is explaining to us, he's telling us the foods from the ground, earthy foods, is a spoiling and the ruin because when you eat you eat that food it doesn't communicate with the spirit it said again in the book of the Matthew 15 surely you have a trouble understanding Everything that goes through the mouth, it goes to the stomach. Then uh, it goes out to the toilet. Then uh, you see me drinking a juice and a piece of bread. After some minutes, I'll go into the toilet to pee that, that drink. And so also, the bread also will be going out. As you try to understand now, this juice that I've been drinking here, the juice that I drank, it's not the really blood of Jesus Christ. It cannot connect us to, to him. He said, if you drink my blood and you eat my body, that means we are connected. I am in you and you are in me. Then uh, imagine now, before I took this drunk, this, this juice, or in the bread, then uh, was I not 
in Jesus. He was not in me. Then is the, the bread which I the bread which I took and the wine which I drank now connected me to him? I think no. Jesus Christ always be in me. Is I drink, is I not drink, still there in me. Then according to what I I'll decide to you today to help you. To don't again drink this wine or juice in thinking that you are connecting with Jesus Christ after drinking them. That's totally wrong. You don't understand the scripture. You have to come close. To us, so we can tell, we can show you exactly the meaning of uh, the body of Jesus and the meaning of the blood. Because when you drink the blood and you eat the body, you have it in a life. You will want gonna die. You will live forever. But while I'm drinking this juice, soon I'm gonna die and I will disappear if I still ever sins. The very important thing here to think about how separating the sins because the bread which I took and the, the juice which I drank cannot clean my, cannot clean me can never and ever purify me still I'm sinner I'm sin if I'm whole I'm whole not because of this drink I drank because I'm holy because I respect the commandment of God I'm holy because I know the scripture very well, understand it, and I focus in what the instruction of the Lord Jesus Christ is we mean. The same people are those ones who respect the commands and the faith of Jesus Christ. When you respect the Ten Commandments and the faith of Jesus Christ, you are saying, not this wine that will make you sin. The wine or the Jews can never make you pure in front of Jesus Christ. However, in any time of uh, communion, while you drink like you are losing your time, there is no need for you to drink that kind of, uh, of wine, of a drink. You lose your moments. You lose your time. You have to focus in what God wants you to do. Focus in the Word of God. It's the Word of God that will help you separate the sin. As I'm calling right now to come to us. As I'm saying right now to you. You may come. Approach. You will help you. We will teach you here at Bible. From Genesis to Revelation. This is so spiritual. It's not carnal. You can have to read here. You read and you're going to confuse yourself. You will be as a, how disciples were. They didn't understand. That's why I told them you still have trouble understanding. Here's a you yourself, you still have trouble understanding. If you understood really, you couldn't continue to drink a juice or to eat a bread. You couldn't continue to symbolize the body of our Lord, the Messiah. You couldn't continue to symbolize the blood. Because this bread is from a factory. This is a bread that you are symbolizing as the body is from a factory. The wine or the juice that you are symbolizing is also from a factory. But the body of our Lord the Savior was from heaven. And he went back in heaven. Then you have to think about the thing in the heaven. Let think. Not earthly. Because while thinking here the earthly thing, you don't have a life in it. The life is from the heaven where our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus is. At the right hand of the Lord. He is the one that we mean a life giver. He's giving life, life to us day and time. Every time that we have, we have to, to share. Come, we call you, come close to us and we will help you understand the truths of uh, this book.
it's not that easy for you to understand if you don't find a person like me to open your eyes, to open your understanding. That's why I'm calling to you. I will welcome you. I will help you understand this truth from the book of the Lord. Thank you very much. As a you hear what I'm saying and as uh, you are going to approach us find us on the medias on Facebook we are preaching every time and moment on the YouTube we are also preaching there dial Africa up media 24 then you will connect us you will you will watch our videos. You will read our daily posts. May the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob blesses you, all of you there. In the name of Christ Jesus, I say, Amen.